Hey, hey, hey. In this video, we are going to talk if you are start learning bubble in 2024, how you should learn. What is the best way to get a grip on bubble? So let's start. Before deep dive into like how, what are the steps you should take to learn and everything. I just want to focus only one thing. Why you want to learn the bubble? Like why you want to? Your why should be so strong that keeps you motivating throughout your learning process. Do you want to build a micro sales? Do you want to look for the career transition? Are you want to become an indie hacker? Do you want to build your own product? Whatever the, your why is, it should be so strong that keeps fueling your growth. That keep moving you. So let's start. First step is buy a paid course. I know a lot of you give me hate. Like there's a lot of content is available online. Why we should go for the paid and everything. Okay. So when I start learning in 2000, late 2020 or early of the 2021, there is literally no paid courses available. Hardly one course available, I think, on the Udemy. But now there's a lot of courses are available. Pick any one. Does not matter which one. Like pick either you can pick Build Camp, JJ course, Zero Two Pro course. There's one more course available. Like four or five like top notch quality courses available. Pick anything, whatever you comfortable with. Why? why paid not free that help you to know that is thing i eventually figured out when you pay for something na, you care more and especially when you have a little money to spend and then in that little money you have to pay someone then you just keep remember it okay i have paid someone hundred dollar two hundred dollar and uh, now i have to re remember it if your why is strong na, you have paid for courses any like you have buy the courses it is a great chances you complete your course like 70 to 80 percent i'm very pretty much sure about it most of these course i also built a one course and other people have course most of the people just buy it and never watch it like hardly watch 10% to 20% that's it but if your why is strong and you have paid for your money for the buying course the greater chances you will completing the course now the second step as soon as you start learning so for example today you learn about the bubble responsive editor build a small product like build a small landing page let's suppose you learn about the database start building a database of any product that you see like netflix take any product idea and start building their database for example you have just learned about API integration. Just take the chat GPT and start integrating their API. Just take any public API available, just start integrating it. Whatever you learn little, implement it. The theory is basically. How you implement it does not literally matter. It just more familiarize you about the different aspect of Bubble. And now Bubble is such a product like there's a lot of different uh, variant like database, UI, API integration, backend workflow, a lot of things. Once you do that, you completed your course and you started, you already built a lot of small, small product. Pick any idea. Learn database schema. How to design the efficient database. Go to the YouTube and search simply for build efficient database. Pick any video. There's a lot of videos available. You can see my screen and pick any video that you could feel comfortable, either Hindi, English, whatever your mother tongue is. Pick that. Understand like what is the efficient database schema means. Learn it. This is the third step. The fourth step is take go to the product hunt pick any idea micro sales basically not the full flash app pick any micro sales and start building it in your bubble build it end to end if you are not very good with design go to the drivel go to lot of design marketplace are there just go there and copy their design and build a template and sale on the bubble market template marketplace or you can even sale on the atom fusion because atom fusion recently uh, launches their creator program where you can sell your uh, micro UI asset also. So that way you will more focus on building a production kind of app. Like you know why you are doing this as a client side, why you are doing this as a, at a back end side. And whenever someone purchase your template, na, they give you feedback. This template is okay. This is missing. This is missing. This is missing. That kind of feedback help you to become a good. And at the same time, these template or micro product that you will build that will eventually build your portfolio. So that will help you when you're applying job. Next is when you're done with all this thing, now apply for the jobs. Where you apply for the jobs? Go to the Bubble agency list. Bubble have a list where all the agencies, no Bubble agencies are listed. Apply each of them. Most of these agencies look for the freshers or look for the early stage person who can help them to build their asset and everything. So apply there so that there's a greater chances to the success. Once you doing 
a job and everything go in depth in a one piece of one section of bubble either it is a design basically that help you to stand out in other bubble developers pick two or three areas at least if you are good with the design try to redesign every ui that you think that is not possible in bubble if you are good with the logic try to write a logic for every product that you see in like netflix like meta like instagram and everything if you are very good with the database design a very efficient database at least pick two area where you will can become master and that will help you to land a better jobs okay now comes to the most important thing first is as i mentioned in the video earlier your why should be so strong why you want to learn bubble it should be so strong so that you stick to that second thing is keep sharing whatever you are learning on twitter linkedin any social media pick any social media and start posting it why you will find your type of people who is on the same learning path like you so you can kind of make a group uh, so that basically help you to learn like regularly when you apply for the job you can simply put your twitter and people go to that social media usually when they hiring and they can see okay your progress over the 6 month okay this person has done this in the last one year third thing is be patient if you are not from the tech background bubble will become a headache a lot times you will feel like frustration each and every time you stuck on logic or design or something like that if you are be patient with it if you are patient with the learning because depend upon from where you are coming from bubble takes 3 to 6 month to learn it i know you have seen the reels on youtube videos or where you people say okay you can build a product in bubble in 10 minute half an hour all these are the bullshit these are the plain bullshit that people are talking to you you can't if you don't have a very good background if you have done the programming in whole last 5 year and then you jump on the bubble i know it's pretty easy for you to uh, build a good product in even 2 3 weeks if you are consistent with the bubble but if you are not from the tech background this is the first time you are building a tech product be patient with it you will learn while doing a lot of mistakes that's it and also download this guide the free guide that i have put it into the description that basically help in your bubble learning journey that's it for this video if you have any doubt any question just comment it out and i will happy to answer it